Let's talk a little bit about spices and extracts. Are there some, you know, particular compounds, let's say, that are so potent that we should really be looking to include them uh, on a regular basis? That's a really good point, too, which we talk about and I've been involved with lately is because I'm so much involved with the um, cancer community of people who either are at high risk of cancer, want to protect themselves from getting cancer or have cancer. And we're saying that dietary excellence is a proven, proven methodology to extend lifespan to prevent cancer and prevent recurrence and extend lifespan people who have cancer. And we're finding that we get dramatic benefits from dietary improvements and from utilization of a wide variety of food extracts. We're talking here about using curcumin extracts, turmeric, black turmeric, EGCG, green tea extracts, mushroom extracts, um, grapeseed extracts, astragalus. We're talking here about, and also, you know, just parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, and, you know, basil, and oregano, and raw garlic. Raw garlic, who gets raw, who, you can't eat raw garlic, it tastes crap, it tastes terrible. But we have this raw garlic, which I have a little, you know, dried raw garlic in a little crusher thing that I'm like sprinkling on my food now, which tastes, really tastes good. So yes, you'd be surprised that, and I've learned this lately, is that even a little bit of these foods added to your diet has been shown to have beneficial effects. A little bit of raw garlic, a little bit of green tea, a little bit of mushrooms, a little bit of extracts, a little bit of of these spice, these um, different herbs and spices have a beneficial effect. Uh, I'll highlight one study here for a second. There's a, a the Oncoblot company used to produce um, blood tests to detect cancer in people before they have a mammogram could show a cancer. The body throws out proteins in the cells from early cancers that can early cancer signs of cancer. So they would take a population of Americans and find about half of Americans over the age of 60 have a positive the ENOX2 proteins that, sh that, are, that are exuded from cancer cells, right? This is way before a mammogram or a prostate, you know, or a biopsy, you could find prostate cancer in the body or breast cancer. What I'm saying right now is about half of all adult Americans have cancer cells in their body, and the science is advancing so we can detect those cancer cells decades before the mammogram could show a visual cancer, let's say. And what these studies showed was that when you give people like green tea extract, and they're not even a nutritarian diet, or you give them curcumins and turmeric extracts, there was one study that gave them a, a certain type of a green tea extract that 90% of those that had the cancer markers in their blood, their cancer markers disappeared within a year of them taking the supplement. So these supplements are powerfully at preventing, at helping the body defenses against cancer. They're anti-angiogenic, they support immune um, recognition and surveillance of cancer cells. They induce, it can help induce apoptosis. And some of these things don't allow cancer cells to replicate. So we utilize, so for example, I'll utilize a supplement that we design based on the scientifically scientific studies that has these turmeric and black turmeric and curcumin extracts from turmeric and the certain green tea extracts have been shown in this study to be most effective with some other substances that make for it increase its efficacy. And we've given it to people with cancer around the clock, like seven, 12, 10, middle of the night, all to help and show that the cell, we, we starve the cancer cells, prevent them from replicating, duplicating what's done in these studies. So these elements have such benef um, documented benefits that I'm now starting to take them as a supplement at a low dose, not around the clock like with a cancer patient, but just to, yeah, I'm going to put some meat, some green tea extract in my diet, or take a little green tea with mushroom extract tea, or I'm going to take a little bit of a, you know, instead of, a, you know, taking, um, I designed that supplement for people with cancer, but I'm going to take one of them. The cancer patient may take four or five of them, but I'll take one of them added to my diet just because it's because I don't really, I'm not eating all those foods today. You know, so in other words, yes, there's these supplemental additives, particularly you know, mushrooms are great, but why not take the 10 or, you know, different mushroom extracts that are shown to have anti-cancer effects. In addition to the two or three mushrooms I ate today, mushrooms I ate today, I have that more mushroom comprehensiveness in my program. So yes, there are certain things that we think give extra benefit to a diet. And we're finding that modern science is supporting this, showing more nutritional diversity in our diet adds more lifespan and anti-cancer benefits.